Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So as you can tell by that sad start, I was so hyped when I brought this weapon that when I was spamming the upgrade, I accidentally clicked the obsidian build. That is right, I went and done it once again. Now I wouldn't mind if this was a weapon you know you could get from llamas, you know you could get multiple schematics, but you can't because it's a one-off weapon from the store. So it actually has me quite concerned, so I did email Epic hoping they get back to me that we can get that change to Sunbeam because I mean I've done the get I've played with it and it is an insane weapon it is honestly so good I mean it's going to be on my main three weapons all the time I'm probably going to play uh, the Super Shredder the Hacksaw and this Tiger because my goodness it is amazing now it does have a scope and it also is a semi burst but it's an automatic semi burst one shot off so if you like the dragon's roar and you like the death stalker this is the this is their love child they produce the tiger and this weapon is amazing i'm going to grind out the perks and i'm going to max it you know it's that good so i mean how about i stop praising it and let's let me show you some gameplay let's let the tiger shine so I went and changed the perks and I actually done two base damage and headshot, headshot damage reload and then I changed the um, element to energy now. I use energy, I use reclaimer so all my weapons are energy build and I use it because I get extra damage. So this is without you know a assault rifle player or a soldier using it and this weapon just eats up all of the husks honestly. And if you played a soldier, which I, I mean, I was thinking of leveling up the carbide and my Wukong just to mess around with this weapon at the maximum, you know, just the pure peak of how good this weapon can be. But I will need Sunbeam for that. <laughs> then um, I might make a video on that. We'll see. We'll see if Epic gets back to me if I can get the weapon changed to Sunbeam because I really want it to be Sunbeam. I mean, Bright Core's not fine because I can get loads of it. And uh, I imagine when I check my loot from 100 storm chests, I will probably have quite a lot. And I'll have the same with Sunbeam, and I would much, much rather have that Sunbeam build. So, <laughs> this gameplay is pretty crazy, because what happened at the start was just pure insanity. So this is a level 100 Retrieve the Data mission, and... <laughs> I just made the most default retrieve the data build. I just wanted to get into the game and, you know, start shooting this new weapon that I have. And uh, I, I hit the ready button, you know, ready question mark, and one person replied, and that was enough for me to shoot down the balloon. And no one was in sight, so I had this default build. I'm a constructor, and all hell breaks loose, man. Honestly, they were like, you're going to see, it was absolutely insane. But as you can see here, the shots are quite fast. It has a good rate. The clip at the moment is, let me see, 30. And obviously I have magazine size to be upgraded. So that's going to go up even more, which is perfect. Now, what I love about this weapon is I do love the scope. Now, a lot of people don't like the scope. They're like, hmm, you know, they would rather have, you know, that um, third person shot. Obviously, this will be first person when aiming down the scopes. A bit like the Deathstalker. Like I said, it is the Deathstalker Dragon's Roar hybrid, you know, love child. Because the thing I like about the Dragon's Roar is that it's, you know, you can pop off a couple of shots. It's semi-automatic, so you line up your shots, it does heavy damage. Now, this weapon, you can just hold down the trigger and it drops off a shot every, you know, half a second or whatever i'm not sure i don't know how to do the math for that but you can see it on screen now now as you can see this is absolute chaos and this is where the team was like uh oh the noob started it we better get over there to help him out you know and they're all soldiers so after they come running over even to be honest even with them running over they just helped a lot obviously they're soldiers now one of them in my game as you saw at the start did have it too and uh, I was trying to get some opinions what he thought about it, but he didn't seem too chatty, you know. And I thought, well, well, we'll let that slip. But we had this is just pure chaos, man. We had smashers running around willy nilly. <laughs> Look, we whack up a wall, it's down again, and it was just chaos for the first couple of minutes. But we did manage to get it back under control, you know, put these husks in their place, and I let the tiger do its work from a distance, which is what the tiger is made for. So if you have the gold, you know, the seasonal gold to get the weapon from the store, do it. I mean, I recommend this weapon a lot. And I've only used it for a couple of games. I had a couple of games, played around with it, and uh, it was just 
crazily good. It's it's the perfect weapon for me in all honesty. Now, I big up the hacksaw a lot because I really do enjoy the hacksaw. It has a large clip, does a lot of damage, it has a fast fire rate. And that is one of the weapons I love. And then you have this weapon which is on the complete opposite side of the spectrum. You know, it's slow firing, one bullet at a time, but it still hits extremely hard. And the thing is, like I said earlier, you know, it's the Love Child of the Dragon's Roar and the Deathstalker. Those are two of my favourite weapons that I've used whilst playing this game. And the fact that this weapon's come out with a scope is just, it's just crazy. Now... As I said, I've got the perks damage and headshot damage. I put on headshot damage, I could have used criticals, I could have used that, but I believe that the headshot damage is the one to go for with this scoped weapon. Now, you'll see me, I kill a lot of blasters, because, you know, blasters, they've got their big old heads and they're great targets to shoot. You know, sniper stream, we call it. You know, with the big foreheads, you can get, get off many shots on the row. And the thing is, this weapon's recoil is second to none. It's insane. There is literally no recoil. You can, as you you can see now, these shots have no recoil whatsoever. You know, so no matter your shot, if you've got a good aim, you're going to be popping headshots left, right, and centre, getting the maximum damage you can on this weapon. So with such a low recoil, it's really easy to pick off husks at a distance. Now, as for me, as a constructor with my playstyle. Being off in the distance is perfect for me. This gameplay, I was a bit more aggressive than what I usually am because, you know, we just had this little base, but, you know, our teammates did upgrade it to a semi-decent base. <laughs> I mean, better than what I threw up. So that was good of them. You know, they realised that this could not hold if we used the default base. <laughs> I mean, well, we might have been alright if everyone was there, but at the start, it was just me. Though it was my fault, I did take the blame. I said at the end of the mission, you know, my bad. One person said they were ready and I started it and no one was there. I was like, uh oh. So as you can see here, the blasters, they've got the big old heads and the shots are just perfect. So I'm getting around 30K damage per shots, like headshots. And that's not even with this weapon upgraded. So at the back of my mind, all I can think about is this weapon with a soldier, you know, for the assault damage. Then with someone like Wukong in the support for the extra assault damage, this could be apps. This could be game changing. Like the amount of damage it does and how quickly you can take out uh, husks. Just anything. I mean, no husk is a problem. Now, I'm, now the smashers. Yeah, the smashers did take a lot of shots, as you saw at the start. Obviously, I imagine with the bonuses, as I was just talking about, you'd be doing a lot, doing a lot more damage, so it would be quicker. But you know, this weapon is all round perfect, in my opinion. I mean. You can hip fire, the hip firing is fine too, and you're gonna see me at the end. I was trying to get um <laughs> I was trying to get a screen for the uh JPEG, well, not a JPEG, sorry, but a PNG, you know, for the for the thumbnail, but I realised I'm gonna have to go into I've just realised now I'm gonna have to go into a private game because I need to remove my HUD. And obviously I can't remove my HUD. Well, I can remove it mid game, but you know, it just takes away the aim. Because I suck without HUD. I mean I've tried playing without the HUD and <laughs> it's pretty difficult. So we pulled back from the massive mess we've had earlier and you know we've really sorted it out my team all came together and we managed to just put this these husks on hold and as you can see though I am keeping my distance and popping them all off at a long range and the thing is the I can't get over the recoil because you would think that the weapon has more of a kickback with such powerful shots but it doesn't so I mean if this weapon was to hit battle royale that would be silly. I mean, I mean, the scoped AR in it at the moment is already good, especially with the buff. But um, with this, if this was in that with the fast fire rate, you know, this semi slash auto, it could be a problem. But enough about battle royale. I mean, I enjoy battle royale. I mean, it's fair enough to say. But this is this is a save the world video, so we're going to talk save the world. And this gun is. I'm just watching the gameplay here and admiring just the husks being absolutely slayed and I can't I can't praise this weapon enough so if you've got the gold go get it and if you don't what you can do is go into a lower level mission and look for the mission alerts that are giving the tickets um, that way you can just easily bang out the mission you won't have any trouble and you can get the tickets quickly or the gold sorry yes yeah, the gold I'm talking about tickets for some reason but you you know you get the gold from their missions down there as well 
and then you know you can get yourself the weapon. I recommend trying to find the time to get this weapon if you don't already have the gold because this is great. I can't. I'm so happy. I'm. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry with happiness because this weapon is so good. So go get it. Now here, here is me trying to get the clip where I sort of aim because where it's scoped, I can't just aim him. So I'm trying to get the clip here where I aim, I come in an angle and I get the weapon. So what I was going to do was go break it down frame by frame, and you know take a picture of it and edit it in. But I, I need to remove the HUD and go try this, you know. <laughs> so the thumbnail is not going to be what you've seen. It's going to be something I've got from a private match. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. That is the Tiger. A completely insane weapon. One that I'd highly recommend to all of you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It is 2 o'clock in the morning here whilst I'm editing, editing this and rendering. And, um, you know, I'm going to have to upload it so it'll be up in an hour or two from what I'm saying now. And uh, I hope you guys just respect that. You know, I have to be a bit more quieter. That's why I sound a little different. I hope you don't mind. Obviously, people are asleep. I don't want to wake them up. But I'm so hyped now. I'm probably going to be on for quite a while because my adrenaline's going. And I want to go take the tiger for a spin. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.